Hey everyone, I have a very different video today and it's one that I'm not bringing to you very happily. In fact, the video that you're seeing in the background right here was a video that I ended up scrapping to do this one instead. Novel AI basically took a stable diffusion model and decided they wanted to build their own version of it. They created their very own anime slash furry version of the stable diffusion model. And what they don't want you to probably know is that it got leaked in their recent security breach. So it's all over the internet and people are downloading it. Now there's another name that I'm going to mention here and he goes by Automatic. He's the guy who's mainly responsible for the Stable Diffusion web UI, the thing that I've made videos about, the thing that tons of people are using to be able to create their own free Stable Diffusion models at home. And right after things got leaked, he was able to update this tool so that people who wanted to could actually use this model file. Now it turns out Stable Diffusion as a team has been cooperating a lot with Novel AI. And they reached out to Otto to ask him to take those changes down. I guess they didn't want people to be able to use it. And in the same message, they accused him of writing changes with stolen code, which is a pretty big accusation. The way that Automatic wrote his tool, you should be able to just change out models at will. And it doesn't necessarily work like that with this very specialized file. So I can understand where there was maybe some questions. But as it turns out, the code that they're accusing him of stealing was published in December of 2021, and there's proof. But beyond that, there's actually further proof that this same code was published earlier than that in August of 2021. Now, not everyone here is going to be a programmer, but when it comes to open source, it comes down to licensing and how things are allowed to be used. And the original code's license allows for commercial use. So nobody would really be in the wrong for using this, especially like this, it's what it was designed for. So not only does this create a ton of drama, but it seems to raise a lot of questions in terms of open source and intellectual property in the world of AI and art generation. I mean, let's be realistic, none of these pictures were drawn by the novel AI team. If you take a model that's based on other people's art and add more of other people's art to it, at what point does it become yours? I don't think that Novel AI is directly responsible for what happened to Automatic. I do feel like the Stable Diffusion team is treating him extremely unfairly given the circumstances based on everything that I've seen so far. But I guess the issue that I really have with it is that this is something that isn't necessarily a defining service for Novel AI. Their service is about generating stories, not generating pictures. And this is kind of an offshoot on their own thing. I get that they put a ton of work into it. And believe me, you won't get to hear it, but my original video here gave them a ton of praise for a lot of the programming work that they did and a lot of the ways that they made a very complicated system very easy to understand. But I don't think they designed the very complicated system and I'm not going to give them credit for the hard work of open source developers like Automatic who allow them to build on the shoulders of giants. The Novel AI team could have opted to release their model. There's already a waifu model out there that people are free to download and use and it's community developed. They could have used the tools and resources at their disposal to make a better experience for everyone and bring people into their service at the same time. And they opted to go a different direction. And I suppose at the end of the day, that's the issue I have with Novel AI in how they moved. Open source, when it's done right, it's an absolutely beautiful thing and it's the decision of community over greed. Stable Diffusion's decision to release their model and their initial software, for example, has allowed so much of this to come to the forefront and it's allowed things like this to even exist. And it's only when people get in the way to start gatekeeping things that we end up with problems again. In the aftermath of everything, it looks like the Stable Diffusion team took away mod privileges from a lot of people and is deciding to give some of it back, like the Reddit community is now community run, so I'm really not sure what the heck's going on in Stable Diffusion land, but it seems like it is a new company. It is a small company and they're still trying to get things figured out. And I'll do some outreach, but I doubt anyone's going to really reach back out to me. I'm a tiny content developer in this space at the moment. So I guess this is actually going to conclude my Novel AI video. I apologize it's going to be a bit shorter than I originally anticipated. I apologize I'm not able to cover the things that I wanted to cover, but honestly the sequence of events here led me to have a completely different reaction to how I view Novel AI as a company. The relationship between Novel AI and Stable Diffusion, if nothing else, became very apparent in this sequence of events as well, and that leaves me very concerned. And I think that's about covering it for today. 
Of course, I'm going to keep a very close eye on things as they progress here, and if anything big changes, you'll be the first to know. As always, thanks for watching.